provided a tent. Number four, Malaysians returning home. Malaysians returning home from overseas were provided a free hotel, free food, and COVID-19 testing during their two- Baby, you can call me a superman Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. And if you guys want us to react to something, you can let us know by dropping us a title. Um, or a link in the comment section below a big shout out to people that have actually been going further by dropping us movies to watch you guys are the best and we appreciate you guys thank you for suggesting thank you for recommending thank you for interacting with us educating us more and a big shout out and a big thank you to everyone that's been subscribing you guys are the best thank you to everyone else that's been watching liking our content and sharing it we thank you very much you guys are the best other than that we've got a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 so if you're from here you can head straight there if you want a change of a change of um videos i guess or scenario i guess and on that channel you can find vlogs that we post every week of which you can also enjoy enjoy the content share the content subscribe just enjoy the content that we're putting out we've got a podcast we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and you can find us on spotify itunes and podbean and you can just enjoy the amazing conversations that we're putting out there and yeah let us know if you want us to talk about something in particular and we'll actually do it for you guys we also have a patreon account where you guys can become our members so feel free to become members and just support us there as well so thank you to our fourteen thousand plus subscribers and everyone that's here right now um i write short poems and short stories you can find me on wordpress as blue and on instagram safani l and you can just check out the content that i put out there and i've got a new upcoming blog called uh morning coffee with funny and just look out for that one like stay tuned for that one the content there will be different from what i do on this other blog so just stay tuned sit tight and stay tuned um as you can tell from the title i'll be reacting to how malaysia did the impossible covid 19 a big shout out to the people that give us things to react to we're very very grateful thank you for telling us where you're from and people are commenting from from as far as yemen i love yemen for some reason i wish i learned about it but never got the chance we just spoke about it in class nothing more and i just love that place and other countries as well thank you for telling us where you're from um i wanted to say something but i threw myself away from my thought but otherwise thank you thank you and i hope you guys are actually doing all right, so without wasting time, let's get into the video. Imagine your country is going through a huge political crisis. You have a new leader and several states have new governments. To add to this, not only is your country facing political crisis, but also economical, health, and defense. And then the worst thing that could ever happen happens. The coronavirus hits Malaysia. Malaysia was in some serious trouble. But don't you ever underestimate the power of Malaysians. ways that Malaysia did the impossible. Number 15, donations and volunteer organizations. So many people volunteered and so many organizations helped out. For example, Amaret provided healthcare workers with food, AC units, and raised over 3 million ringgit for medical supplies. Number 14, top doctor. Dr. Noor Hassam Adula has been ranked one of the top doctors in the entire world at fighting the coronavirus 
And not only does he present accurate facts, he's able to do it in a way that gathers support and also keeps people calm as he does it. Number 13, the movement control order and the enhanced movement control order. These things are not easy to pull off and it took so many people in different organizations to work together to have them work. Number 12, indirect volunteers. There are so many people that helped out and volunteered and did so many different things like food delivery. Number 11, building temporary hospitals. Malaysia was able to build temporary hospitals very efficiently and quickly. For example, the largest agro park in Asia was able to be built into a hospital in three days. Number 10, the Tuvle Cluster. The Tuvle Cluster complied with any order from MOH and they never complained even though they had to wait long hours in the heat. Number 9, banks. Banks lent to the borrowers for six months. Number 8, universities. Universities allowed students to stay for free and provided them food as well. Number 7, stipends. Nearly 4 million homes received up to 1,600 ringgit. Number 6, ignoring politics. Opposition leaders came together and forgot about politics for the good of Malaysia. Now that is really cool. Number 5, protecting the most vulnerable. Malaysia did a great job in protecting those that were most vulnerable, homeless and foreign workers. They were put in public halls and provided a tent. Number 4, Malaysians returning home. Malaysians returning home from overseas were provided a free hotel, free food, and COVID-19 testing during their two-week quarantine. Number three, respect for frontline workers. I've never seen so much respect and love for frontline workers. It was so beautiful to see all the support Malaysians gave to the frontline workers. Number two, fixing the PPE shortage for frontline workers. At the beginning of the crisis, there wasn't enough PPE for all the frontline workers. And so, Malaysians took it onto themselves. For example, a fashion designer realized she had a skill set that could be very valuable. And so she took the initiative to organize an entire team to make PPE. Prisoners made PPE, college students made PPE, even a Malaysian born with no arms didn't let that stop her from making PPE. And number one, most important, is teamwork. It didn't matter if you were a celebrity or an average person. It didn't matter your social status. It didn't matter your gender, your religion, your ethnicity. All Malaysians came together for the better of Malaysia. And that's how Malaysia was able to do the impossible, to go from a country that had three times more cases than any other country in Southeast Asia, to now being one of the safest countries in the entire world. I'd like to thank all the Malaysians that helped make this video possible. So many of you wrote to me, sent me videos and pictures, and specifically Pacific Baku, who's a motorcycle rider, let me take lots of his footage, along with Q Productions, who took beautiful drone shots. And you can find links to their channels in the description. So thank you to all of you who helped make this video possible. This was something lovely to come across and it's just, it warms your heart from people being, um, for them having three times the coronavirus rates to them uh, beating it or making the country at least safe for now. It's some, it speaks volumes. They're providing free um, hotels for people. Why can't other people not other people, but other, why can't other government follow suit and actually do the same? Why should people coming back into the country have to pay for their own um, hotels? If you can't afford those hotels, then let them be isolated in their homes, if that's the case. Uh, celebrities came, political parties, which was mentioned um, was a problem in the beginning came together putting aside differences it's always these countries that don't make sense that are always never wanting to put differences aside this is a time where everyone should hold hands and come together and beat this virus but political parties i guess have other agendas this is an example people came together and they'll continue their political races after this 
another thing was teamwork celebrities coming together uh people volunteering i don't even think in other countries people are allowed to volunteer i'm not sure because even if you volunteer where is the food coming from some people some governments are sleeping on duty they're taking they've waited too long to even say okay let's give food to the poor or let's help the poor or even create homes for the poor which doesn't make sense but otherwise it's good to see that something like this is coming out of a country like malaysia others should follow suit other countries developing countries under developed countries this is the only way you can beat something don't rely on help from outside first let's help ourselves then the rest uh will follow otherwise this was very very amazing to watch and like i said it warmed my heart make sure to give this video or let me know what you think by the way let me know what you think then make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video